Hello again. Welcome to another episode of Weekday Wisdom. Um, I can remember, not just one time, but uh, I, I can remember this specific time when I was in college. And uh, I was taking some summer classes for an engineering degree and um, went to class and had a test. Knew the test was coming. But I thought the class was just kind of a, an easy class, if I could put it that way. Um, most of the stuff that we were studying was rather intuitive. I was felt like I was getting it pretty well. And I took the test and had no clue what I was looking at. I, I mean, every problem that was on the exam was unlike anything I had seen in class or done in homework. And I struggled through the test, came back the next class session, and the professor walks in and he throws the exams down on the table and looks around the classroom and, and he made this statement. He said, I don't see any engineers in here. Now, he was being a little overly dramatic in trying to get his point across. But as the tests were, you know, we, we, he left the classroom and we went up and we would get in our exams. And, you know, this is a small class, summer class. And uh, we're asking each other, well, how, how'd you do? How'd you do? And everybody, with the exception of one person, did lousy on the test. And I still remember Brian uh, Brian was one of those guys who prepared for everything. Every test, he knocked it out of the ballpark because he always studied. He was always very diligent to work hard to make sure he understood the material. Our verse for today is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 15. And many of you know this well. As a matter of fact, our children's ministry that will be beginning up here in the fall uses this verse as its theme verse. Verses study to show thyself approved unto God. That's the first part of it. Approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, a, a few weeks ago, we looked at another one of Paul's exhortations to Timothy in which he said, give attendance to reading. Now we're going a little bit further than reading. We're getting a little bit deeper. We're talking about something that is a little bit more of a time investment, a little bit more of an energy investment when it comes to engaging our brain, and that is the study of God's Word. Now, Brian, the young man that I referred to in that class, was studying, probably not to really please the professor. He certainly wasn't concerned about pleasing any of us as his fellow students, he was studying for his own self. But our verse today says, study to show thyself approved unto God. You know, we're not to study God's word so that we can show other people how much we know of God's word. Um, certainly, studying God's word can be a help to other people. When they come to us and, and they have a problem or, 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 or a difficult situation in life and we're able to take the word of God and to help them with it, our study of God's word can be a benefit to other people, but it's not the primary reason why we do it. You know, we don't even primarily study God's word for ourselves, even though the study of God's word is so beneficial for our daily Christian life. We need it. Uh, uh, his word should be more necessary than our, our daily food. We're to desire the sincere milk of God's word and to read it and to study it, but we are primarily to study God's word to show ourselves approved unto God. Approved in what way? Well, approved as a workman of God. You know, again, a few weeks ago, we, we looked at Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 10, that we are his workmanship. Uh, you see, it's in, in Christ Jesus that God is making us what he desires for us to be. And part of that is that we are a workman for him. You know, a workman needs to know his craft. A carpenter 
works diligently and, and, and solves problems and studies in order to figure out how to build something. A, a mechanic is constantly, especially in today's world of electronics and uh, they're constantly studying, working diligently to know their craft. God says, study the word of God, that you can show yourself approved unto God as a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. I was ashamed that day of how poorly I had done on the exam for many reasons. Unfortunately, not, not because I considered myself a representative of Jesus Christ and somebody that needed to do everything to the utmost of my ability for God's glory. But I was ashamed. You know, I don't want to be ashamed before God in how I handled the word of God. The, the end part of that verse is rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, I, I want to correctly parse out the word of God. When somebody comes to me with a question, a parent, when your child comes to you with a question about God and about his word, don't you want to rightly be able to explain that to him? You know, a question I often get is, you know, how? I, I, Pastor, I don't know how to study God's Word. Didn't go to Bible college, didn't have all the resources given to me about how to study it. May I tell you, friend, that it really is not as complicated as we oftentimes like to make it. Now, now, now the, 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 there's, the, there are practices concerning the study of God's Word that we don't have the time in this, but, but may I say, just study. Study a book at a time. Uh, as you're reading through God's Word and you find a book in the Bible that's of interest to you, take the time to study it out. Man, read through that book several times. Highlight passages of importance. Uh, write, uh, write specific things that spoke to you. Outline it. Study the Word of God. Character studies are an excellent way to study God's Word. Think of the great characters in, in the Bible of Joseph, David, Daniel, the Apostle Paul that we've been um, speaking on for so many weeks now. Do a word study. Do a topical study. Just dig into God's word and mine out its treasures. Uh, reading God's word is important. Absolutely. Should be a part of our everyday. But are you studying it? Are you studying the word of God so that you can be his workman that's not ashamed and that is approved before God? I trust you have a great day. God bless you. We'll see you next time.